Welcome to our YouTube channel. 10 Reasons the Story of Jesus Might Be an Allegory for the Sun Whether a person called Jesus Christ ever actually existed or not, the story attributed to him is largely, although unofficially, agreed by most atheists to be an allegory for the yearly journey of the sun. Written accounts can be found that predate the lifetime of Jesus by thousands of years, and each draws from a previous version, essentially telling the same story right back to ancient times, when humans really did worship the sun. Perhaps the sun was worshipped for good reason, after all, life here would not exist without it. For those in ancient times, the realization of their reliance on the sun for their harvests, and in turn their survival, was evident in their ancient writings. If anything did deserve our utter respect and adulation, you could make a strong argument that the sun might just be such a body. Here are 10 reasons why the story of Jesus, and indeed the tales that predated it, might be the telling of the annual journey of the sun through the zodiac. Remember, this is in fact, everything you read from here on are merely theories and interpretation. The rebirth of the sun is the birth of Jesus Christ. The first day of the new sun is December 25th, which, as we all know, is the day Jesus was born in the stable in Bethlehem. 1. Even terms such as the Son of God could have originally, in ancient texts, have simply been the Son God. As we will look at later in this list, the new sun comes after the winter solstice, which ends the previous cycle of the sun, before its rebirth, essentially, the circle of life. Following December 25th, when the sun is reborn, it begins its journey through the houses of the zodiac, just as Jesus begins his life, first as a young child, new sun, and all the way to summer, when the sun is at its strongest, or when Jesus was at his most influential and powerful. As a further testament to this, many ancient records depict the sun as a baby around December and January, a young boy at Easter, a strong and able man during the summer, sometimes with long, yellow hair, indicating bright sunrays, and a tired and frail old man in the months approaching winter. 9. The Three Wise Men of course, as much as we are familiar with Christmas and the story behind it, most of us will also be familiar with the story of the three wise men and their journey to meet the new King of Kings. This is actually, if you believe the claims, a reference to the three stars of Orion's belt, which just after the winter solstice, align in such a way as to point to Sirius, the brightest star in the sky and the star that the three kings, the three stars of Orion's belt, follow or are guided by. The three stars of Orion's belt were also once called the Three Kings of Orion, another example of where the story of the three kings going to meet the new son, son, of God may have come from. Not only is this an intriguing argument, but it is a great example of the intricate knowledge that ancient people must have had of the universe, which, for all intents and purposes, is the heavens. Thank you.